How to determine the sum and the product of the roots of a given quadratic equation the easier way? Know how in this video. Good day learners! Today we're going to talk about how to find the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation. So I have here our first example. Let us say we have this problem. Find the sum and product of the roots of 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 is equal to 0. So kung uh, typically, makukuha lang natin yung sum and product niya, uh, what's nakuha na natin or na-determine na natin yung mga roots. In this case, we can use quadratic formula, right? So gagamitin natin yung quadratic formula para makuha yung roots ng given quadratic equation natin. So, ito na siya, yung quadratic formula. Uh, sinode ko na agad. By using quadratic formula, we arrive with the following roots. So, ang roots ng quadratic equation natin, yung x sub 1 niya is 4, and yung x sub 2 naman niya is negative 1 half. Okay. Then, we're going to look for the sum. So, we're going to add x sub 1 plus x sub 2. So, first root plus yung pangalawa, negative 2. So since uh, we have a whole number and a fraction, we're going to get their LCD. So, ang LCD nila would be 2. Kasi nga, may, ang denominator ng 4 is automatic 1. Ha? So, we have 2. 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2. Then, times 4, you will have 8. Then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Times 1, you will have 1. Okay. So, minus or negative 1. So, the sum of the roots would be 7 halves. Now, how about yung product niya? We have x sub 1 times x sub 2. So, that is 4 times negative 1 half. 4 times negative 1 half, the result would be a 4 times 1, 4 over 2. Then since positive and negative yung minultiply natin, so the result would be negative. So negative 4 halves, or simplify natin, 4 divided by 2, the answer is negative 2. So ang product ng roots natin would be negative 2. Now just imagine, the question is asking for the roots. Then kailangan pa natin dumaan sa quadratic formula, then determine the roots until you come up with adding and multiplying the roots. It would be very long. Uh, it would be a very long process for us. Okay. So this time we're going to have yung shortcut. Okay. Paano ba natin malalaman agad yung sum and product ng roots ng quadratic equation given yung kanyang equation. So the formula that we're going to use for the sum of the roots we have x sub one plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. And for the product of the roots, we have x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. So, gagamitin na natin yung nabanggit na formula para makuha agad yung sum and product ng roots ng given quadratic equation natin. So, before natin gagamitin yung formula, uh, aalamin muna natin yung values ng a, B and C ng quadratic equation natin. So we have A is equal to 2, B is equal to negative 7, at yung C naman natin is equal to 4. So yung shortcut natin para makuha agad natin yung sum ng roots is this one. We have X sub 1 plus X sub 2 is equal to negative B over A. Okay. Based sa ating given, ang b natin is negative 7. So, minus, this is constant, yung negative dito. So, negative or minus, then yung value ng b which is negative 7. Over a. Ang a naman natin is equal to 2. Then, we're going to simplify. Negative times negative 7. So, that would become positive 7. 7, then copy yung denominator natin we will have 2. 
So, mapapansin natin yung shortcut natin na nakuha natin yung 7 half which is also equal sa nakuha natin kanina na value. How about the product? So, pag product naman yung kukunin, yung formula natin would be x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. Okay. So, again, substitute lang natin yung values nila ng abc natin. So, ang C natin is negative 4 at ang A naman natin is equal to 2. Now, we can still simplify this one. Okay, so, you have negative 4 divided by positive 2. So, the answer is negative 2. Again, yung nakuha natin na sagot dito is just the same sa nakuha na sagot natin kanina. Okay? So, in this case, this process is much easier compared sa naging process natin kanina. Okay, let's have some more examples. So, we're going to find the sum and product of the roots of the following quadratic equations. Okay, let's have number 1. We have x squared minus 17x plus 23 is equal to 0. So, again, yung first step, uh, identify the values of a, b, and c. So we have A is equal to 1, B is equal to negative 17, at ang C naman natin, we have 23. And yung pagkua ng sum, the formula is X sub 1 plus X sub 2 is equal to negative B over A. So ang value ng B natin is negative 17. We have negative, then negative 17 over A. A is equal to 1. Okay, simplify natin. So we have negative times negative 17. The answer is positive 17. Positive 17 divided by 1. The answer is still positive 17. So yung sum ng roots ng given quadratic equation is equal to 17. Now, how about the product? So, x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to c over a. So, ang value ng c natin ay 23 at ang value naman ng a natin is 1. So, that would be 23 divided by 1. The final answer is 23. Therefore, ang sum ay 17 at ang um, product naman ng goods ng given equation natin is equal to 23. Now, how about the second problem? So, same pa rin yung process natin. Uh, look for the values of A, B, and C. So, ang A natin is 3, B is 5, at ang C naman natin is negative 8. Okay. So, look for the sum, we have again the formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. Negative, ang b natin is 5. Okay, we'll have 5. And a naman natin is 3. Therefore, ang sum ng roots niya would be negative 5 thirds. Okay, how about the product? We have x sub 1 times x sub 2 is equal to, is equal to c over a. So, we will have negative 8, negative 8 over 3. Okay, since hindi natin siya ma lowest term, therefore this is the final answer. And you can also express this one in as mixed fraction. Okay? Okay na rin itong improper fraction. So, the answer is negative 8 over 3. Okay, how about the last problem? We have 2x squared plus 5x plus 24 is equal to 0. So, ang value ng A natin is 2. Ang B naman natin is 5. At ang C natin is equal to 24. Okay. So, let's look for the sum. x sub 1 plus x sub 2 is equal to negative B over A. Okay. So, you will have negative 5 over 2. Okay, so the final answer is negative 5 halves. 
Okay, how about the product? X sub 1 times X sub 2 is equal to C over A. So, ang C natin ay 24. At ang value naman ng A natin ay 2. So, pwede pa natin silang masimplify. We have 24 divided by 2 that is equal to 12. So, ang sum ng given quadratic equation natin, or ang sum ng roots ng given quadratic equation natin ay negative 5 halves. At ang product naman ng roots ng given quadratic equation natin ay 12. Now, what if baliktad yung given? What if yung roots naman yung binigay, tapos i-determine natin kung ano yung quadratic equation? Okay. Let us say we have the problem. Find the equation if the roots of the quadratic equation are given. So, we're going to use the concept of the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation para ma-determine natin yung missing na or yung inahanap na quadratic equation. Yung form line na nagagamitin natin would be this one. x squared minus yung sum ng roots x plus the product of the roots is equal to 0. Okay. Example number 1, we have 2 and 5. Suppose ang first na root is 2 at ang second naman na root is 5. Okay. So para makuha natin or ma-apply natin itong uh, form natin, kailangan muna natin kunin ang kanilang sum and product. So since may or given na yung roots natin, all we need to do is to simply add and multiply them. So x sub 1 plus x sub 2, you will have 2 plus 5. Okay? So, ang x sub 1 natin si 2. Ang x sub 2 naman natin is si 5. So, 2 plus 5, you will have 7. How about your product? We have x sub 1 times x sub 2. So, that is 2 times 5. So, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So, ngayon, alam na natin yung sum ng roots natin at alam din natin yung product. So, we're going to substitute this one in this form, para makuha natin yung uh, inihingi ng quadratic equation. So, we have x squared minus, constant ito siya, sum of the roots. Okay, sum of the roots. The sum is 7. 7, then times x. So, magiging 7x. Then, plus the product of the roots. So, the product of the roots is 10. So, plus 10. Then, equal to 0. Automatic, makukuha agad natin yung missing na quadratic equation. Okay, let's proceed with the second example. The roots are 2 thirds and 1 half. So, again, kukunin muna natin yung sum and product nila. So, x sub 1 plus x sub 2, that is 2 thirds plus 1 half. If we're going to add the similar fractions, of course, we need to get the LCD first. So, anong LCD ni 3 and 2? The LCD is equal to 6. Okay. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Same din yung gagawin natin sa next na fraction. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Again, yung LCD, the divide natin sa denominator. And whatever the result, i-multiply natin sa numerator. Kaya nakapa tayo ng 4 and 3. So, let's simplify. We'll have 4 plus 3 is 7. Then, copy the denominator. So, the answer will be 7 over 6. How about their product? So, x sub 1 times x sub 2. We'll have 2 thirds times 1 half. So, simply multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So, you will get 2 over 6. Pwede din tayo mag-cancel out kung gusto nyo mag-shortcut. Okay? Then, after this one, since masimplify pa, kunin natin yung lowest term niya. So, 2 over 6, uh, yung numerator and denominator can still be divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 magiging 1. 6 divided by 2 magiging 3. So, yung simplest form niya would be 1 third. So, the sum is 7 over 6 while the product is 1 over 
3. So, ano na yung uh, quadratic equation natin? So, again, we're going to use the form. So, we will have x squared minus sum of the roots. You will have 7 over 6. Then, times x plus the product of the roots which is equal to 1 third. 1 third is equal to 0. Now, this would be your answer. Okay? Now, this is the missing quadratic equation. However, yung ibang books or ibang references, pwede, uh, uh, sinasabi nila na dapat walang numerical coefficient na fraction. Although, tama na ito siya, but we can still further uh, transform this one na walang fraction sa numerical uh, coefficient ng bawat terms natin. So, paano yung gagawin? All we need to do is to multiply the whole equation by uh, sisulat ulit x squared minus 7x uh, 7 over 6x plus 1 third is equal to 0 we're going to multiply the whole equation by the, uh, the LCM of our denominator so 6 and 3 multiply natin the whole equation by 6 so 6, you distribute natin siya by term so 6 times the first term times the second term and times the last term or yung constant term natin. So, 6 times x squared, you will have 6x squared. Okay. 6 times 7, you will have 42. Okay. Or 6 times negative 7, you will have negative 42. Since may denominator pa, kailangan natin siyang i-divide. So, negative 42 divided by 6 is equal to negative 7. So, pwede rin natin siyang i-cancel out again. Okay? Then, plus, 6 divided by, uh, 6 times 1 is 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then, is equal to 0. So, the final answer is 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, Ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Ninyo.